The JCB that we've used operationally has proved to be a great advantage. Uh, we've used it on a number of incidents so far where we've had uh, levels of hazardous materials, multi-component chemicals and also asbestos. We've also used it in unsafe structures where committing firefighters just in normal PPE may pose a risk. We've had a building that with an asbestos roof um, that was destroyed in the fire. However, we still had to extinguish the remains of what was left in the building. That proved quite difficult because of the deep-seated fires that were located in the building. We couldn't actually remove the, the burning material easily by hand. So by deploying the machine into the building, it's allowed us to extract the material that was burning, also extinguishing the deep seating fires that were in there, limiting the risk to crews and limiting the risk of asbestos to crews. Uh, we've also used it in incidents where we've had hazardous materials, multi-component chemicals or mixtures that may have become mixed during the course of the fire. It allowed us then to deploy the machine into those environments where it would be deemed unsuitable or unsafe for crews to operate in normal PPE or enhanced levels of personal protective equipment such as gas tight suits or liquid tight suits. So with the protective cab and the protective equipment that the vehicle affords, it allows us to get a greater degree of uh, firefighting intervention in areas that we wouldn't have thought possible previously. The structure of the vehicle, the cab itself, I uh, believe it to be five tonne working capacity around the actual passenger cell. We've seen areas where we've potentially saved over 360 um, person hours. This is uh, on one incident alone. We've seen where we've actually um, achieved savings in terms of our operational costs. By using the machine, we've actually reduced the number of uh, firefighters required on the incident ground uh, by uh, 360 hours. This equates to the knock-on effect that we may have where we've brought supporting appliances in, welfare arrangements and the rotation of crews. So we estimate it to be on one incident alone, potentially in excess of £25,000. We had a, an environmental issue uh, arise where the incident was located next to a canal. Um, the canal obviously a main water course for the local area and should we pollute that water course as a result of the chemicals actually entering the water course will prove catastrophic. By using the equipment and using this machine to aggressively uh, attack the fire in the deep seated areas, we could actually extinguish the fire with a limited amount of water. We recover the amount of water that was used and also mixed component chemicals. It's equated to about 6,000 litres and we managed to recover those on scene at source and not enter the water course, also allowing us to extinguish the fire a lot quicker. Environmental officers who attended the incident um, estimated the cost if the effluent had entered the water course, the cost of clean up and the cost of um, dealing with the incident from an environmental perspective is generally on average about £100,000. Clean up was minimal for the environment agency. By using this piece of equipment allowed us to return to business as usual a lot quicker. So again, insurance assessors can attend the incident and the business can resume normal operation. So by reducing the contamination, the risk of uh, structural collapse and removing parts of the unsafe structure with the machine allows us a greater degree of firefighting operations. The Teletruck, since its introduction within Staffordshire Fire and Rescue Series, has proved to be ben very beneficial. So when we're actually out there assessing incidents, it's at the forefront front of our minds of how we can actually deal with the incident quicker, more effectively and safer and this machine allows us to do that. By working with JCB, Staffordshire Fire and Rescue Service have had to develop uh, the transport mechanism. The machine is easily transportable on the skid, transported in line with current regulations and also allows us to reach the scene of operations in a timely manner.